from the Journal of Aframus Long Journey, Pilgrim, with notes by Avos Tor, scholar of Reeve Library. Marday, 16th cycle, 7th year, 81st turn, 19th day in the trees. We found a stream today, and Torn and I both bathed, while Suja batted at the water. It was a clear, swiftly flowing stream, but the water was not too cold. Torn tested the water with a stick before setting foot in it. I would find his caution amusing if it hadn't been for the flowers yesterday. But once he was certain it was safe, he stripped and was soon splashing around, as full of his energy as ever. In high spirits, we began to splash each other. Our game was evenly matched. My tail allowed me to move more water, but he presented a much smaller target. While we dried, I asked him about the wrappings he wore around his wrists and ankles, even while he was bathing. They looked like bandages, but there was no blood apparent through them. It seemed strange to me that a calamity would strike both wrists and both ankles simultaneously. His smile didn't change, but there was a hard edge to his eyes that I hadn't seen before. He told me it was a nothing, and that I shouldn't concern myself with it. He then made a show of dancing with a passing butterfly. I let the subject go. If it is painful for him to speak of, I will not press him. I saw another of those strange, graceful, horse-like creatures. Torn said that they were good to eat, but I don't know that I could bring myself to eat one, even if I could catch one. They are too beautiful. Of course, I say this with a full belly and plentiful game around. I cannot say what I would do if I were truly hungry. Note, and once again, he sees an animal and does not describe it anything like well enough. It's enough to make a scholar put down his ink pot. I suppose I will look at the book again before going to bed. I have just looked at the book, and I cannot believe what I am seeing. It has changed since the last time I looked at it. Parts are visible that I could not make out before. I've made out references to a revolt in some country I have never heard of. It seems to be from one of the rebels' point of view. References are made to irreconcilable grievances, unbearable hardships, and tyrannical leadership. From what I can glean, the rebellion was unsuccessful, and the losers were ultimately banished to another, harsher land where they made a more egalitarian home. I can even make out a signature in this section. I wonder who this was and where the country of paradise is. Was the rebellion worth its loss? Note, manuscript is illegible on this spot.